Good evening and welcome to Truth, Health and Wellness. I'm Lacey Klontz with Matt and Deborah St. John and we have a live studio audience today that's Yay. going to be giving us some questions for Dr. Matt. So how have you two been this week? We've been great. We've been good. We've been very busy. We've yeah. been good. Today was a whirlwind but we have a it's been it's been great. A yeah. lot of a lot of uh, interesting people. A lot of interesting uh, things coming up, popping up this week. What have you seen the most of this week? The most of? Oh my goodness! Well, it it's is. been a wild variety. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, a very, what are they? Yeah. We've got a variety <laughs> pack. <laughs> yeah, uh, we we did have a question. Uh, I was kind of engaging yeah. some folks on Facebook, and I said something mm -hmm. about irritable bowel syndrome. And I said my post was something like, "Hey guys." By the way, because I keep seeing people who are coming in who are like in their 20s, who are mm -hmm. like accepting in their minds that IBS mm -hmm. is some sort of like natural phenomenon and that people just have it by heredity or that, it, you know, oh, my, my mother had, you know, IBS and my grandmother had IBS. So, mm -hmm. you know, I have IBS and that's, and it's, it's like, well, no, first off, your grandmother probably didn't have IBS until, you know, five years ago right. if she even had it. But the problem is that gets back to just like type 2 diabetes in a lot of cases mm -hmm. you know people say well I have hereditary predisposition to diabetes no you just live like your parents did mm, you just grew up where your learning. parents grew up yeah you just live and Ooh, eat and consume the foods and so so when your diet is Frito-Lay Little Debbie um, whatever Oscar Mayer um, I could go on and on when that's your diet or your diets your grocery store foods then that's your heredity right there right in the box right there with the preservatives, right there with the glyphosates, right there with the chemicals that are being, the bioengineered foods. Mm -hmm. There's an influx, a steady influx of just the use of glyphosate in this country mm -hmm. with the incidence of IBS. It, you can look at the graph really? and it goes up just at, at the same exact time, year by year as they're spraying more, especially on wheat, mm -hmm. but also not just wheat, but corn, corn soy, yeah. um, sugar, sugar beets. Uh, that as you look at, the, at this kind of phenomenon that we're in where, where these companies are making food cheaper and, and, and cheaper and cheaper mm -hmm. because they're trying to sell it for cheaper and cheaper because prices are going up so much. Mm -hmm. You know, they're trying everything. You know, it used to be you'd buy coffee, it'd be 16 ounces per bag. Now mm -hmm. it's 12 ounces per bag and there's more coffee or there's, there's less coffee and they're higher prices. You know, they're, they're doing every gimmick, every trick in the book. So that now just we have, ruined the coffee that I just bought. Well, the there, yeah, and we, we, we have to <laughs> shop for coffee. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. But but when you, you know, they start using bioengineered foods, well, why yeah. are they using bioengineered foods? Oh, and that it's for our health, right? It's, for, mm -hmm. it's to make us better people. Of course not. It's to be able to, to sell more food, right? Well. well, when the same companies that you're buying from in the grocery store uh -huh. own the same companies mm -hmm. that you're, you know, having to get, you're having to buy the drugs from, and that's what you posted on Facebook about. The you other you day, read that, right? didn't you? I yeah. did. It was <clears throat> the, um, oh, the V word. What was it? That was it. Avon? What was oh, it? Oh, Vanguard, Black Vanguard. Rock, and, yeah. Okay. And it's so wild because we can we we've done that. We actually yeah. did that the other day on we the show. We talked about it. Yeah. We, we, I was and like, hey, look up who up. owns so and so, and mm -hmm. you looked it up. And it was literally Vanguard, Black yeah. Rock, and State Street. And mm -hmm. what what it is for folks that kind of like are just listening, going, what on earth? They're talking like Greek or something. You have these hedge funds. You have these private equity firms that are buying up and owning almost every single company. Mm -hmm. I'm talking from Ford to Toyota, from. Um, from Church's Chicken to Chick-fil-A. In other words, they're, they're buying up as much of these companies as they possibly can, and they're mm -hmm. controlling these companies. And then, and then all their ideologies, their, their ways to kind of manipulate are all pouring into these companies. Mm -hmm. The same company that owns, you know, like Kellogg's or, or, or um, whatever, Cheerios, is the same company that owns Keytruda. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, the chemotherapy drug, the, the nation's most popular oh. chemotherapy drug. Oh. So isn't it strange that the same companies hmm. that are on the foods that are sending you to the doctor happen to own the same companies that the doctor is sending you to the pharmacy that sell the drugs to the pharmacies? I don't think it's strange. I think it makes perfect sense. It's, it's an incredible, it's, mm -hmm. it's like, well, that sounds like a conspiracy theory. Well, just next time that you deal with a company, whether it be Harley Davidson or mm -hmm. uh, Indian Motorcycles or John Deere, you know, John Deere is just as, you know, they're one of the Vanguard, BlackRock, you know, uh, State Street companies. Yep. These companies are selling out. They're controlled by people that you definitely don't want to be trusting with anything, much less your health. So back to IBS. So why do people have IBS now? Well, it's because they literally have their guts being destroyed. Their entire genome is being destroyed from within mm -hmm. by these chemicals. Mm -hmm. And and no, we're not. I'm not an environment. Well, I guess I am kind of environmentalist now, but that doesn't even matter because environmentalism is out. Climate change is in. So they even messed up <laughs> environmentalism. So it's, it's it's interesting when we look at these companies that are running rampant and they're they're putting all this garbage in our food and then we're scratching our heads going, why do I you know why am I going you know having like twelve bowel movements a day? Well, it's because your gut's destroyed. You, you're 
your probiotics, your friendly flora that's mm -hmm. supposed to be in your gut, that's keeping mm -hmm. you healthy. We, you know, we talked the other day about you know, um, buttermilk and yeah. yogurt and the importance mm -hmm. of having that friendly bacteria and yeah. how that friendly bacteria keeps you healthy, not only but with digestion, but with your entire immune system. Mm -hmm. And how people who get messed up when it comes to their gut, uh, they, they start having all these health disorders, whether it be mm -hmm. you know, Crohn's disease, diverticulitis, IBS, and so what do you do? What do you, how do you get, you know, where do you like put the wall up? What do they do? Well, they have to get rid of whatever's causing the problem. Right. But then that means, how, you know, are they going to quit going to the grocery store? No, they're just going to get smarter at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to start eating organic as much as they can. Start using markets and start going to fresh markets and getting, in, you know, buying your, uh, your chicken, at, well, at least your beef and, and other foods from sources that are local that don't use hormones, mm -hmm. they don't use chemicals. And the problem with that, and that kind of adds to the conspiracy, is it's more expensive. Oh, of course so it's more expensive. So people are less likely. Right? It's strange yeah. to yeah. pay more for something that has less. In other words, you, you know, we have less yeah. chemicals, we have less pesticides. You would think it would be The opposite. Reverse. Well, yeah, but the problem is the pesticides mm -hmm. are, are not for you, they're mm -hmm. for the farmers. Yeah. They're not really for the farmers, they're for the companies that control the farmers now. Right. You know, Farmer Joe doesn't That's, really own Farmer yeah. Joe's farm anymore. Mm -hmm. so, so we're in a mess. But what you can also do is to chelate, to get, it, it's, uh, we were, um, I had my phone out a second ago, and I was just looking, I thought, well, let me just see what happens if you just type in, does glyphosate cause IBS, right? I did that on Google, do it. Everybody who has your Google box in front of you, unless you're watching me and us on this. And then, then we're the Google it, box, we go, he's just, the Google but box. But just later on, go in and type in, does glyphosate cause IBS? Guess what, you get a big fat yes. Sort of a yes. I mean, they don't really want to go out and say They're it. They're not they advertising. The it. three clinical studies that you'll find really quick will might tell you the truth. But that it, it's, it's proven mm -hmm. that that this stuff, that this this glyphosate, not just glyphosate, but atrazine and other chemicals that mm -hmm. people are putting in their bodies, PFAs, mm -hmm. all of these are contributing to gut problems. And these mm -hmm. gut problems, of course, are giving us things like irritable bowel syndrome. And so when you start reducing the inflammation, and you can do that with like curcumin, with turmeric, you can do it with, uh, of course, taking probiotics is vital, very, very important to take probiotics. But then also to chelate, to get rid of glyphosate. And I typed in, you know, how do you get rid of glyphosate in the system? Literally now it pops up fulvic acid and humic acid. Well, that's, mm. we've, we had that, you know, two years ago mm -hmm. when we started the environmental defense system. So that we, we came out with a system that has bentonite clay, modified mm -hmm. citrus pectin, and it has fulvic acid, humic acid, and it's, it's really awesome because it repairs the damage. It doesn't just get the stuff out, but it repairs the damage. And so and I Very told cool. the story about when um, I was eating eggs. We were eating eggs. They were, they were mm -hmm. local eggs. We thought we were doing the right thing. We're getting them from the farmer, you mm -hmm. know, from the people. That, well, actually, it was from a friend. And she had a chicken coop. All of a sudden, I started having all these gut problems. You know, all these, I, was, I was literally trying to get through breakfast before I would, you know, not vomit and throw up and get sick Ooh. and I'm like well something's wrong so we did an elimination diet first thing I eliminated was eggs because that's what I eat a lot of mm -hmm. started eliminating the eggs and I started getting better I'm like oh my goodness so what was it? well as we're driving past our the administrator of our school that, that our kids go to uh, the home where the chickens are mm -hmm. we look over and there's a tractor there's there's fields surrounding their her home there's a tractor spraying chemicals oh. and of course it was glyphosate so it just hit us. Let's research glyphosate as we're going to hike up in DeSoto State Park. So we, we're researching glyphosate and come to find out every single health issue that that family and other families had around that area was linked mm -hmm. to glyphosate exposure. So <laughs> we started, we, we called in and, and we were like, mm -hmm. you know, you not, need to be careful about these fields and all that are around, mm -hmm. you know, your home and about what they're spraying. And you got, we're going to have to figure out something for you to take or do to get rid of this stuff. She said, oh my goodness, what is it? And I said, glyphosate. She goes, what's glyphosate? And I said, well, Roundup. They call it Roundup. Mm -hmm. She goes, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to get Dwight to quit spraying the chicken coop with Roundup. They weren't mm -hmm. just using it around the fields, they were using it around the chicken coop. Oh. Our chickens were nothing but glyphosate chickens. Poor chickens. Yeah, poor chickens. Brock, Brock. And so it's like, we, <laughs> here, here, we eliminated, we, then I turned, we came out with the environmental defense system. Uh, it's a, it's a two-part program. It's kind of intensive. You have to take a few pills. And we, st I took it as a guinea pig mm -hmm. and um, took it for one month. We tested my glyphosate levels beforehand, mm -hmm. sent it off to, at the time they were called what? Um, they were called... Oklahoma. Yeah, no, they're in Kansas. Kansas, yeah. Oklahoma. They're both great. Same thing. Great Plains, Plains Laboratory. <laughs> and so the great, we sent it off to Great Plains Laboratory and, um, and then got it back that I had uh, high levels of glyphosate in my system. Mm -hmm. 
being a naturopathic doctor, being in the wellness for 30 years, I'm like, great. So we started taking the environmental defense system. After one month, we re retested. And then it was like only 23rd of September. I remember that because we were actually in the Amazon. We got the email. It's funny being okay. in the Amazon and get an email. And, uh, <laughs> and there it was, my test results. So the test results showed that I had no detected levels of glyphosate anymore. Congratulations. Now I had, thank you. I got better. <laughs> I felt better. And then I got a news brief that, that that same day, the Environmental Protection Agency actually dropped their approval of glyphosate to sweep it under the rug for oh, liability really? reasons. You can still buy the mess at Walmart. You can buy enough Roundup to kill Aniston uh, over at Walmart right now. So it's like, you know, here we have, you know, this chemical still available, yet the EPA quietly just drops their approval of it. So these are the things that we have going on. We need to chelate. We need to get this stuff out of us. Mm -hmm. We need to rebuild our guts using probiotics in particular. There's some things like aloe that can help, and once again, the turmeric or the curcumin mm -hmm. that can help. But that just helps to reduce mainly the inflammation mm -hmm. as it's happening. But there's a ton. There's a ton that people can do. But one, the first thing they need to do is understand that it's not normal. It's not natural. It's not something they have by heredity, except you know the hereditary bad ideas and lifestyle that mm -hmm. they have. So that's. Yeah my spill on IBS. Well, there you go. And kind of going back to the probiotic thing, Deborah, I know one time you said taking a good probiotic, even just one, can improve all allergy symptoms, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. another thing everybody, I think, is struggling with. Yes, allergies, uh, probiotics are the key to health, basically. They really are. They mm -hmm. really are. Your brain health, your um, immune system health, um, just everything. Depression, anxiety, people can, it's linked probiotics. now to people having lack of probiotics or beneficial bacteria in their gut. Not having wow. a healthy gut leads to almost every form of disease in the body and gives you a much greater propensity to have cancer. And, if you, and if you think about Roundup, it's made to kill living organisms. Yeah. And what are we? You're a living organism. You're a living <laughs> yeah. organism uh -huh. And your probiotics are living inside of your gut and you're, you're putting that in there. It's, it's wiping them all out. There's a guy in Sounds Boaz. Like he wanted to prove a point about the safety of Roundup to his family. Mm -hmm. His son was on him about it, so he he consumed a little glass full of Roundup right in front of his son, and he was dead in two years. True story. True story. I'm not normally speechless, but yeah. <laughs> wow. Two years, he was, he, was, he was dead, and and we have so many problems environmentally in this region, in the, every all the listening, watching areas that we're that people are watching us at. That do you really need to be poisoning yourself at you know from the grocery store in your own home? I don't think so. I think it's time for people to get educated, to wise up, and to get serious about their health. Wow. Well, on that scary, scary note, <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. We will be right back with more of the truth, health, and wellness. Don't go away. May not believe it, but it's true. The 2024 Team One Chevys are here. All 2324 Silverado light dudes have 2.9% financing for 72 months. The hottest new 24 Team One Chevy Blazer, 1.9% financing and no payments till April. And the number one selling family vehicle, the Equinox. 24 models, you got it. 1.9% financing and no payments till April. Team One Chevrolet, home of the best people, the best service, period. What can you buy for $10? A hat? A milkshake? 166 channels plus live sports? That's right, for only $10 you can get 166 channels of classic TV shows and movies, including the latest news update from all around the world and local sports. Just simply go to 24ctn.com and click download. And then for only $10 you can have access to the best TV available. Prosthetic and Medical Supply, we care about you. We offer custom prosthetics, orthotics, diabetic shoes, and durable medical supplies. We're located here in Alexandria, Alabama, where it's a country field but professional care. Come see us today. I'm Alan Parnell with Parnell Insurance Agency. We've been here in Oxford in Alabama, Tallapoosa, Georgia since 1990. With Auto Owners Insurance, we're able to give customers competitive pricing along with excellent coverages. Parnell Insurance can handle all of your personal, commercial, and life insurance needs. We have a very experienced staff, both personal and commercial. All together, we've got about 125 years experience. Come see what our insurance agency can do for you. 
in Oxford, Alabama, and Tallapoosa, Georgia. Auto Owners Insurance. Welcome back to Truth, Health, and Wellness. I'm Lacey Klontz with Dr. Matt and Deborah St. John. Now, again, today we do have a live studio audience, and I believe someone has a question. What was your question, ma'am? Um, ADHD. ADHD. As she okay. chokes on a sandwich. You're asking about ADHD. <laughs> I wasn't going to say. <laughs> you oh, all didn't awesome. hear that. We needed a mic on you yeah, for that. That, that, that would have been perfect funny. timing. I mean, <laughs> she's I'm, like. <laughs> ADHD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're having digestive disorder. That's okay. Now. That's awesome. That, that is makes perfect. it. I breathed and talked at the same time. Don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> she said, that's... I breathed and talked at the same time. Don't do it. Bad Don't combo. try this at home. Only in the TV24 <laughs> studio. So, ADHD. Yeah. Well, and ADD. Well, we'll just cover both. For the, the slug for, and the squirrel. Well, you were saying you were saying that you know you wish you had the H. I wish. No, yeah. I'm the I'm the slug. Unless I take my medication, then I get the H and. Well, yeah, and then yeah, mm -hmm. and then everybody knows it. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but but it, well, okay. So what you're dealing with is you know you think it's just a it's just a, a mental health issue, and that's what they want to sort of keep it as, because then they can treat it you know with meds easier, even though the meds end up contributing more to the problem as it, as you go on. You know your your gut and your brain are linked. Your your mm -hmm. there's a direct pathway to gut health and, and brain health. Mm -hmm. Then you have something called a blood brain barrier. The blood brain barrier mm -hmm. is supposed to protect your brain from damaging, you know, heavy metals, aluminums, right. and all these different things. ADHD and ADD can start, of course, before you're ever born. It can start with the diet and the environment that you that you have, you know, your mother's diet, and you don't really have a choice of the matter. Um, Thanks, but, mom. Yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> but it's a, but you know, you don't have a choice of the matter at, at an early stage of birth, and then also if you're born and you, you your mother for whatever reason can't or won't or doesn't or decides to not nurse. Uh, then that even contributes greater to the problem because the only way that you get any friendly bacteria in your gut when you're born is from your, your basically the mother's milk and also uh, touch and, and basically kissing and that sort of thing, you know, affection with a child. Mm -hmm. And so there are a lot of kids that don't have that for one reason or another and they don't have the friendly flora from, from birth mm -hmm. and they don't get it, of course, you know, in their, in their nutrition. You don't get it in formula, I assure you of that. Yeah. Right. And so, mm -hmm. and I grew up without formula. So I grew up without formula. I mean, I'm sorry, I grew up without, without breastfeeding because my mother was told that it was better to use formula. What? 1975, yep, they, they were telling uh, the ladies at, at a Gazin Regional that you should use, rather than nursing, that you should use this new fancy formula because, you know, technology's better. And so that's, you know, I was raised in, in that manner. Well, as I, as I developed, you know, 10, 11, 12 years old, I was the only kid who didn't look forward to getting out of school. You know, everybody's looking forward to getting out of school. Yeah. For me, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to get out of school because I, I know as soon as it gets warm or as soon as springtime comes and the, the, everything starts, you know, popping up, yeah. I'm miserable. I'm mm -hmm. literally, you know, sniffing and snorting and, you know, nose is running and I'm, I'm having all these allergy problems. Well, you know, I also had learning issues a little bit. Nothing okay. severe. Mm -hmm. I was mostly just a little jerk. But, but at the same time, it got worse mm -hmm. as, as I grew older and my gut issues were worse, my sinus and respiratory. All that was available that my parents knew to give me was Actifed. Actifed, which is, it should be just called zombie medicine because that stuff knocked me out. So I was either sniffing, snorting, and snotting the entire summer or I was like a zombie or both. Mm -hmm. And I remember going to Six Flags thinking, well, this is going to be great to go to Six Flags, but I can't hardly ride anything because I'm going to be on Actifed. I mean, yeah. it was just, it was rough. And so <laughs> I went to Tommy Bass. And, and so when I met Tommy Bass, when I was turned 16 years old, I, I met the little old guy. And once again, Tommy Bass had a PhD in nothing. He had, I mean, matter of fact, he had two days of formal education. The first day he had a formal wow. education, he taught. Mm -hmm. The second day he was a subject of a master thesis and he took the state at, stage at Duke University. Uh, so this is a little fellow who was self-taught. His mother taught him how to read and write. He was self-taught with everything. And, um, but Tommy, he says, what you need is to start drinking buttermilk. That's right. And I thought, you crazy old man. 
you're gonna have me drinking buttermilk. I, I mean, I, I took one sip of actual butter. I, I'd never had it before. And your nostril popped, right? Yeah, I'm like, no, I took <laughs> one sip of buttermilk and I, <laughs> I just, you know, wanted to throw up. Well, so, sure. so it was terrible. And so then I thought, well, a, a good second would be yogurt. Mm -hmm. So I started eating yogurt. Then I found out about probiotics because Tommy didn't realize why he recommended it. He didn't even know. It, he just know, knew it was good. He just knew that would what would fix my sinus problems, my respiratory problems. Mm -hmm. He also put me on a formula. Uh, by old Nature Sunshine formula that was a respiratory formula, and it helped. I remember, you know, the first time that, that's when I really discovered that herbs worked. Mm -hmm. um, I used to have one nostril that would just run, and one that would be stopped up. Mm -hmm. Then, then as soon as I would blow one, they'd, they'd, they'd swap. switch. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so I was constantly miserable. And I, I remember when I took those herbs, it just popped, and I could just breathe again. And so I, I started realizing at that point how important my gut was. Of course, I was also cleaning up my diet. Mm -hmm. And so when we look into how our gut health and our mind works, it's really cool because I went to school, I lost 80 pounds over a summer. I went back to school and I could think better. I could actually sit in class and listen and take some notes and make A's on test. Before, I either had to woodshed and work really hard or just take the D that you can get in public school mm -hmm. for you know just the, you know whatever existing. And so, you know, after I started actually getting my gut healthy, my brain started working better. And I remember going into college, I started taking things. I was, I was a kind of a wild child at that point. I was importing L-Dopa, Huperzine A, and Venpositine huh? from European pharmacies. Yes, I was, I was importing these, what they call, they're actually all supplements now. Oh. At the time, you couldn't get them in the United States. So I was importing them over from Europe, and I was, and I was taking L-glutamine. Mm -hmm. And so I was just killing it. I, of course, part of it's probably a little bit of placebo. I'm like, my brain works so well, so I can just absorb information. But I really, it was, it was amazing how much these nutrients, which mainly were amino acids, l Dopa mm -hmm. is an amino acid, L-glutamine is an amino acid. Mm -hmm. Where do we get amino acids? Well, you know, but protein. No, protein. <laughs> protein. <laughs> protein. Pro okay, let's take, let's take like we have protein, right? You mm -hmm. have a, a piece of chicken has 25 grams of protein. So Fried chicken? Well, it has 25 grams of nasty protein. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but a chicken breast, I, I eat fried chicken or what's why it's, you know, one of those things. Air fryers are better. But yes. 25 grams of protein mm -hmm is actually 25,000 milligrams of various amino acids. Wow. Right, and so 25,000 milligrams of those amino acids, some of them are L-glutamine, some of them are L-tyrosine, L-tryptophan. Um, L-theanine. L-theanine. Mm -hmm. And all, L -R yeah, and, and all of those, in one degree or another, affect and improve brain health. Mm -hmm. So just eating the protein, increasing your protein, getting your gut right, that alone, how many kids, I mean, how many parents that are, that are watching, or kids that are watching, <laughs> bored kids, um, <laughs> how, how many kids have, have diets that are good in protein, that are good in healthy protein? How many of them are eating fish? None of ours. Oh yeah, well, we're trying, but it's really? not, not enough. No, yeah, for I really. have wondered oh. about your kids they and oh, what they not, eat. Yeah, let's, let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> we try, we really do. Um, but, but how many kids are eating three servings of fish a day? They're not because they're picky. Right. And the omega-3 fatty acids that they're not getting mm -hmm. are very important also for brain health and to protect, right. to protect the cell membrane. Fish oil. Fish oil. And so yeah. that's why people supplement fish oil. People mm -hmm. are like, you know, they, you know, they had a study and it showed that fish oil didn't really help bad cholesterol. Well, no, it improves good cholesterol. And the study was biased because they don't want your kids to have a brain. You know, they, they don't want kids taking omega-3s. Mm -hmm. Who's they? I don't know. It's pretty Vanguard, Black Vanguard, Rock. Vanguard, yeah. Extra. So, so it's interesting mm -hmm. when you start supplementing omega-3s and you start supplementing um, uh, uh, you know, like probiotics that help get your gut straight, how fast the ADD, ADHD kind of goes away. And then if you really want to get funky and really want to get intense, we, we have access to things like ayahuasca and, and, and things that improve, have been clinically proven to birth new neurons to repair cellular damage in, in, with DNA uh, in, in DNA and cells. I mean, you know, things that, uh, that, that have uh, serious immediate benefit to the brain and can have been, you know, the subject of clinical studies for, you know, for decades. The, there are so many formulas available, so many things that you can do for these kids to help them focus. We've never had a case where somebody has, has come in to get help for their kid that hasn't gotten it. Wow. it normally the reason is because they actually are gonna do something they're actually, you know, when they, by the time they get to us, they're normally mm -hmm. desperate. Uh, well, that's not really true as much anymore. We have a lot of people mm -hmm. coming to us for prevention, but still. Well, that's good, though. Well, chelating those chemicals, too, um, can help a lot with brain health um, because you also get inflammation in your cerebrospinal fluid, mm -hmm. which causes a foggy headedness. Brain fog. We had a from... lot of that. <laughs> you just looked at me like, um, yeah, yeah, I have fog. some of that, and I really need to start taking. <laughs> yeah, brain fog. Yeah, you got to remember to take your brain fog, 
but brain fog is incredible. Uh, but in, in, not the actual brain fog, but the supplement. We have a supplement called Brain Fog for Brain Fog. It's mm. not very original. But anyway, the, the, <laughs> the formula is designed to help reduce that cerebral spinal mm -hmm. fluid inflammation. And it has turmeric oil, it has rosemary terpenes, and it has um, tamarind as its main ingredients, which have all been clinically shown to do that, to reduce that inflammation. When COVID hit, the COVID brain fog came because of that, that cerebral spinal mm. fluid inflammation and people who started dealing with it started getting a lot better. Well, you also hear that artificial colors and stuff make ADHD Red worse. 40. Red 40, sort of yellow thing. 5. Woo! That's because it's crossing your blood-brain barrier. Mm -hmm. Your blood-brain barrier has been damaged because of these pesticides and herbicides that you're getting in your food. Mm -hmm. So the more clean you eat, mm -hmm. the better off your brain's gonna we be. We talk about those amino acids. It makes sense. The, the amino acids, uh, your brain wants and needs those amino acids. Well, mm -hmm. glyphosate, when you consume glyphosate, your brain, your body thinks that it's L-glycine. Mm -hmm. And your body will take the glyphosate into the brain thinking that it's L-glycine. Now you've got glyphosate in the brain, y'all. And then it starts to replicate because the body will replicate glycine and it'll also replicate, replicate glyphosate. It's, it's, it's a mess and the main way to get rid of it is to avoid it and to, to get rid of the chemicals, you need to chelate. And, there, and we have the ability to do that now, thankfully. Uh, you, can, you can, once again, don't, don't just believe what I'm saying. Google this stuff. Not that you can really believe Google either, but you know what I mean. You can, you or can go at least buy their products and test yeah, it out well, yourself. Come by and talk to us. Yeah. There's always someone while we're open that yeah, can, that that can, can talk you. to you about this sort of thing. And a lot of times mm -hmm. when we're not open, the best thing to do is go to St. John's Nutrition, go to our page, go to Messenger on Facebook and message us. You'll be shocked at how often we'll, you know, we'll be able to answer you, even after hours and that sort of thing, because mm -hmm. we really don't have a life. You have a healthy life. That's yeah, what we do have a life. It's actually an incredible life. <laughs> yeah, we have a wonderful life. You have yeah. Cookie. That makes life. <laughs> oh, Cookie has a life. That's a fact. Where is Cookie? She's in the van with Brittany. Okay. Britain. Yeah, she's she's happy really. They're right hanging now. out. They're hanging out. I didn't knock on her window this time. I was just <laughs> coming on in here, <laughs> but can, I looked and I was like, I don't see her. Yeah, she can bark she's at probably, you in a little while. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she actually loves you. I love her too. We need to have her on the show. So We're going to pet health. Yeah, we're gonna have a pet health special. We're gonna do it. Maybe next week. I don't know. Maybe. We'll Maybe see. So. We'll Maybe. Be yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> now, going back to the clinic, um, what are your hours? Just for everyone. We're open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 5.30, and then on Saturdays we're open from 9.30 until 5. Yes. You're up until 5 on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's important. Closed we, on Sunday. We're closed yes. on Sunday. Jesus Day. Right. <laughs> we'll still help people. You know, like he did. Yeah, message us. Yeah, yeah. totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll help you in any way we can. Mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, it's it's really important to be open and be available for people. I would love to be open at like eight o'clock and be open till seven o'clock. But you know, we just we don't want to be the ones to have to be there, and we have a family to take care of too. So. Right, yeah. that makes sense. We ship stuff every day too, all over oh. the country. So and out of the country. I was about to say even out of the country. If your country's ban what we have, we'll smuggle it in. Just like you did when you were younger and you were bringing the stuff in. What Actually, was it? I, I took it. I took I, <laughs> I did have the DEA call one time. Um, that's funny. Congratulations, when you're 17 though. years old, the DEA is calling you. <laughs> but uh, but it, no, you, you can import a three, a three month supply of any unapproved medication as long as it's not a controlled substance into the United States via the AIDS and cancer bill that came out that George W mm -hmm. signed. I think it was George W. It might have been George H. But uh, that was that mm -hmm. was a benefit. So it allowed mm -hmm. people to use uh, experimental uh, medications or therapies. And even though everything I was taking was technically a supplement, mm -hmm. it allowed me to have the L-dopa, Huperzine, and Benpositine which really helped my GPA. <laughs> well, I have one random question to throw at you awesome. before we leave. For um, any kind of acne or hor hormonal acne, supplement for it, go. MSM. <laughs> MSM, which MSM. is a dietary form of sulfur that's very safe to take, is incredible. Mm -hmm. Also, hormonally, uh, ladies balance. Uh, it's, it's ladies, ladies Ladies balance. Oh, okay. Ladies balance. It's, it's a matter of, uh, of hormones and getting them all balanced. Well, thank you. <laughs> Awesome. You're welcome. Well, everyone, that is all the time that we have. Tune in next week. We are now on Wednesday nights versus Thursday nights, but same time, 7 o'clock, and we always love to hear from you. So on that note, I'm Lacey Klontz with Matt and Deborah St. John. Have a great night. We'll see you next week.